I said have a block because um, if you like to practice with a block, some of us don't like practicing with blocks. So start um, in a child's pose, brief. I'm Julie. Hi, Rachel. I know the rest of you. Okay. Spread the palms wide, connect here. There's a lift of your forearms. And uh, just let your lower back spread into the tops of the feet. Yeah. Connect to your breath. Don't get so hung up on the breath. Inhale through the nose to the back of the throat. Exhale through the nose to the back of the throat. The goal in the practice is just to move and breathe and feel and do what you can. Good, press up onto all fours into a tabletop position. Scoot your hands a little bit underneath your shoulders here. Curl the toes into the mat, yeah. Inhale, sink the spine down and look forward. Just feel, exhale, hollow out your abdominal wall, round the spine deeply, look in. Again, inhale, sinking spine down, looking forward. Arms are nice and plugged in. Neck is nice and neutral. Exhale, round the spine deeply. Look in. One more inhale, sink spine. Just kind of create some space here. Exhale, hollow out and round in. Come to a flat back neutral position. Extend your left leg back. So curl the toes into the mat, kind of like a little half plank and just pause. Just pause here. Anchor through your hands. Neck is nice and neutral. So you're creating a straight line of energy. And go ahead and hug your right knee in towards your navel like this. So the right knee is to switch legs for, for me. So the left leg is back and your right knee is hugging in. Yeah. So you're gonna go ahead and lower the right, right knee and the right toes back and sink the spine and look forward. So we're gonna do it like this, okay? A couple times. Round the spine, lift the knee, kind of scoop up the belly. Lower the toes, drop the knee and arch the spine. So if you're confused, look forward at me, at kind of, if you can. And then go ahead and round and scoop in, so it's knee to navel. And then lower the knee, the toes curl, and then sink and look down. One more rounding, scooping and looking in. This time, step your right foot all the way forward and through. And if you feel really tight, it may be a little bit more of a few steps. Come to your fingertips, pause. Lead a little with your heart and chest. Squeeze your right hip in and under. Yeah, activate your back left leg. So you're just beginning to kind of navigate and feel your way through the practice this morning. Your back knee is lifted up off the ground. You're just holding and breathing. Good, plant the palms, just step to a tabletop. Just step tabletop. So go ahead and extend your right leg straight back. Half tabletop, hip plank, plank here going on. Uh-huh, back leg super engaged, charge it up. You're gonna go ahead and lift the left knee and scoop out your belly, pause. Arms stay nice and straight up and down. You're gonna go ahead and lower the toes and the knee and sink the spine down and look forward. So it's like a little cat and cow using your core. Go ahead and hug the knee in and lift it up, round. Go ahead and lower it down and sink. So just making some movement like this, try it again. Hug the knee in, knee in, arms are straight up and down, back leg is charged up. Lower it down, sink the spine, look forward. Last one, hug it in, scoop out the belly. This time look forward and step your foot all the way forward and through. So this is your psoas, your walking muscles. We kind of need these to walk down the steps to leave this room. Back leg super strong, be on your fingertips here. Create that little arch in your upper back. So like um, a little bit of an up dog here as you look forward, keep the neck neutral. Draw the belly in and just feel for a moment here. So if this feels easy for you, focus on little things in your body. Yeah. Spring your right foot forward and through to the top of the mat. Long spine on the inhale. Hands can also rest on your shins this morning so they don't make it to the floor. Exhale, fold into yourself, let your head go. Root to rise, come all the way up. Energetically reach. Maybe you get a head brush if you're up, you're lucky. Drag your hands to prayer. Drop your arms, stand for a second, just feel today's body, no judgment. Arms slide straight up towards the sky, look up. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, prepare yourself. Two big steps to get you back to plank this morning. Yes, plank position. 
Drop your knees so they go behind you. Keep the toes curled into the mat. Shift your weight forward, lower halfway to supported push-up. Spread the palms wide. Restraighten your arms to supported plank. So just use your arms, lower halfway supported push-up. Keep the neck neutral. Arms straight and supported plank. You got it. One more for good luck. Halfway supported push-up. Restraighten your arms, supported plank. Lift the knees, you're back in plank position. Arms are straight, legs are straight, hips up and back, downward facing dog. So your first downward facing dog here. Take up as much space on the mat as you need. Breathe your hips this morning way up off your shoulders. Plug your thumb, your index finger, and more importantly, most importantly, your baby finger into the mat. Yeah. Bend behind your knees as much as you need. I don't know how you feel in your body, so you have to feel your way through yourself. Roll forward plank position, stack yourself up. Lead with your heart and chest. Good morning. Lengthen your tailbone, Stephanie. Lengthen it. Draw the pit of the belly towards the back of the spine. There you go. Now lower halfway to a push-up chaturanga or drop your knees if you need support. Up dog or baby cobra, op those options are great. Press through the hands and the tops of the feet. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, full breath out. Plug down, look where you wanna go. Step, step your feet to the top of the mat. I know some of you are very eager, but just walk to get there first. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold into yourself, let your head go. Root to rise, come all the way up. Very serious group in here. Hands to prayer, drop your arms. You don't need to know where you're going. As long as I know where you're going, you're good. Yeah, so just trust the process. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Long spine to prepare. Step, step, or float through a vinyasa. So everyone's vinyasas are a little different. Some of us skip things or take things out or add them, up dog pulls you through, hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, take a full breath out. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you wanna land, step or float your feet to the top. So now you can hop if you got it in you. Long spine weight is forward, exhale, fold. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms. So keep going like this. This is just traditional sun A's. Arms go straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Let your head go. Long spine prepares you. Step, step, or float through a vinyasa. Up dog is a smooth transition. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you want to land. Step or float to the top. Get there light. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold, root to rise, come all the way up, anchor. Hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Arms slide straight up towards the sky, go big. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips to prepare you, step or float through your vinyasa. So it's a light hop to a chaturanga if that's where you're going. Up dog or cobra you pick. Hips back, downward facing dog. Each one starts to get a little better, that is the goal. Be patient. Hands stay nice and firm, arms stay nice and straight. Look where you wanna land, step or float to the top, get there nice and light. Long spine weight is forward, exhale, fold one more time. Root to rise, come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. Right at the top, yeah, there you go. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. You go on automatic, I know. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, set it up. Step or float through your vinyasa. Halfway to a push up. Up dog or cobra, you pick. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe your right leg up and back to a three-legged down dog. Just lift it about hip height. Spark your right toes up. Good, come forward to plank and hug your right knee towards your navel. Scoop out your belly, you did this before, just moving from a different way. Extend your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Press firm, like you're leaving a footprint on the back wall. Come forward, hug the right knee in and up, scoop out the belly, some joint mobility is what we're aiming for. One more, extend your right leg up and back, flex the right foot super strong, grip the left hip in, 
Come forward, hug the right knee in and up. Land your right foot all the way forward and through. You're in a low lunge. Come to your fingertips, pause. Activate your back leg. So as you come to your fingertips here, lift the fingertips from the floor, just about an inch or two. So you're hovering your fingertips from the ground. You're integrating your legs and you're leading a little with your heart and chest while your neck stays neutral. This just helps you fire up your legs, you should feel. Arms reach back like a set of airplane wings. Palms face down, guys. There you go. Rise high lunge. Good. Know the modification. You can always drop your back knee if you need to. So it's like you're holding a block in between your hands. Yeah. The moments you get to be still, they're a gift. I know not all of us want to be still, but just try to, you know, embrace the moments that you're still in the poses. That's where we get stronger. Good. So transition is going to be a little funky. Why not? We might only live once. You're gonna float up to tree pose. So use your best energy. You may need to use your hands to do it. You're gonna float up, use your left hand to bring your left leg up into tree and then grow the branches of your tree. And if it wasn't pretty, you just stand up and take tree. Your foot is somewhere on the inside of your leg. I wouldn't recommend the inner part of your knee. Outer hips grip in. Keep the arms moving up and maybe your eyes can go up. And if you fall, you just come back. Transitioning to warrior one, you're just gonna slide right back. See if you can step your foot back. It's proprioception of the body. Steer the left side of your ribs forward, turn your left toes a little bit more forward. Heavy in that standing front thigh. Good to know if your lower back is sensitive, you could pitch forward a little. Yes, that helps me out a lot. Sometimes straight up and down goes into the lower back. Yeah. Hands to frame your front foot. Move through a vinyasa, meet me in a dog. Upward facing pulls you through, baby cobra there. Skip it all together if you're not interested. Downward facing. Left leg lifts on the inhale, breath from your inner thigh, flex the foot strong. Feel your outer right hip hug in. Come forward, hug your left knee in and up, scoop out your belly. Extend your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog, press. So consistent movement, come forward, hug the knee in, we're not in a rush, hug it in. One more, extend the left leg up and back, flex. Grip the outer right hip in, press firm through your hands. Come forward, hug your left knee in and up, scoop up the belly, land your left foot all the way forward and through, be in a low lunge. Organize the feet the best that you can, about hips with distance, back leg super engaged, Come to your fingertips, and once you feel your outer hip grip in, lift the fingertips an inch or two from the ground and feel like you're leading with your chest. Back right heel is lifted. You're in a low lunge and you're hovering. Outer left hip hugs in. Back leg super strong. Arms reach back like a set of airplane wings. Palms face down. That's just a recommendation. You got it. Heavy in your legs. Rise. High lunge. Hip points move forward. Back leg super strong. You don't want to feel like you're taking this in your lower back, guys. So stand up as tall as you can, and maybe you need to bend your back knee a little bit. That's perfect. Fix your eyes and just feel. Good. You're going to press up to tree pose. You may need to use your hands. It may get sloppy. You may need to stand up and reset the pose. Use your right hand to kind of grow that right foot somewhere up the thigh. Arms then grow up towards the sky, tree. The trick with tree is to hug your outer hips in like you are in a warrior two, right? The same pose. Fix your eyes, feel your branches grow you, lift from your ribs. Keep moving the arms up towards the sky, transitioning back to warrior one, just take a giant step back. Yeah, you gotta kind of just place the foot. Scoot that right rib forward. Yeah, outer blade of your back foot. And just remind me, you can pitch. Does that feel better to you? It does. Right, so, so you get a little stuck. So if you're straight up and down like this, it jams right into your low back. 
So give yourself that opportunity, just kind of hinge forward an inch. Yes, and it feels a lot better. You can really feel the outer blade of your back foot. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Move through a vinyasa, guys. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing. So that was so fun. We're gonna do it again. Step your right foot forward and through. We'll take out the leg lift though. Just step it forward and through, come up crescent. We'll move a little quicker. Otherwise we'll be here all day. Yeah, you're gonna press the tree. See, mine was a little funky. Doesn't have to be perfect. Thank God we're not like uh, brain surgeons. Slide the arms up. I would not want. I would not want to be operated on by me. Yeah. Arms keep moving up towards the sky. Step your left foot back, Warrior One. Yep. And play with it a little. So it's proprioception in your body, which we need for our mind. Hands come down. Move through a vinyasa, or take it out and just go to a dog. You got it. Left foot lands on your breath, crescent lunge. If you're just arriving, welcome. Welcome to hell. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> At least you're smiling. Step up into a tree. Grow the branches the best that you can. Yeah, you gotta find it first before you move on to the next. Slide back, warrior one. You got it. Yeah, you kind of mindfully move. Back down we go, vinyasa. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, down dog. We're gonna do it one more time, but we're gonna add a chair pose. Here we go, look to the top of the mat, step or float to the top. Long spine weight is forward, exhale fold. I've personally been taking chair with my feet a little separated. Yep, but you decide, feet can be together a little separated. Stick your butt way back like you're sitting in a bar stool or a regular chair. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer at heart and drop your arms. So from the top, we'll put it all together just one time. Arms slide straight up towards the sky, sit heavy chair. Who likes red hot chili peppers? Dive over bent knees, forward fold. This is their new song. Long spine, set it up, I love them. Step or float through vinyasa. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up, hips up and back down dog. So here we go together, right foot lands, crescent lunge. Just do the best that you can, crescent lunge. I'll wait for you all, so right leg forward, right leg forward, you got it. Press the sand into tree, see if you can do it without falling over. You got it. Hug your hips in. Arms keep moving up, waist stays nice and long. Stand that standing right leg, drift that left leg back, warrior one. You got it. Hands down through a vinyasa or simply go to dog. It's up to you. Once you get to down dog, land your left foot forward, crescent lunge, do that first. Crescent lunge, left side, left foot forward. There you go. So you gotta use your core muscles and find stability to press up to tree. You can use your right hand to get that foot up there and then grow your branches. Fix your eyes. Arms keep moving up, eyes keep moving up. Guide yourself back, warrior one. Good job, everyone. Hands down, vinyasa. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up and back, down dog, pause here. Yeah, down dog, take up a lot of space on your mat. Lift your hips super high. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you wanna go, step or float to the top of the mat. Get there lightly, safely. Long spine weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Sit again into chair. Weight moves into your heels. In chair pose, stick your butt way back. So it's like this, stick your butt back and sit chair. Arms go up, separate your hands. Neck is neutral. Press up to stand up, drag your hands to prayer, drop your arms. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Sit heavy chair, weight goes in your heels. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Long spine prepares you, step or float through your vinyasa. Yeah, up dog is a smooth operation, press through the hands and the tops of the feet, that's great. Hips up and back down dog. The right foot lands, the back foot turns, traditional first warrior. So just set up for warrior one, 
the outer blade of your back foot secures to the mat. Back foot roots. Hands come down through a vinyasa. High plank to a low push up. Up dog or cobra, press through the hands and the feet. Hips up and back down dog. Left foot lands, the back foot turns. You move on your breath, your feeling. It's your body, warrior one. Hands come down through vinyasa. Maybe your vinyasa is just going to dog. Meet me in a down dog. Down dog, that's it. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you want to go. Step or float to the top of the mat. Long spine, exhale, fold. Chair. Chair pose, you guys look thrilled. Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer, drop your arms. From the top, here we go. Arms slide straight up, sit heavy in your heels, chair. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, set it up, step or float. You just wanna keep moving, however that looks for you. Up dog is super simple, don't jam into your lower back. Hips up and back down dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns, warrior one. The outer blade of your back foot presses heavily into the ground. Hands come back down to the floor, plank, add your push up or omit if you're not taking the push ups. Up dog pulls you through, hips up and back down dog. It's a warm up, guys. It's meant to move you. Left foot lands, back foot turns, warrior one. I'm no nonsense. Yep. Hands come back down through a vinyasa. Upward facing pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out. We're gonna just do one more to finish this part of it off. Look where you wanna go, step or float to the top. Get their light. Long spine, weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Heavy in your heels, chair. There's so much resistance in this pose. Chair pose, always. Mm -hmm. Press up to stand up. Drag it to prayer, drop your arms. Let go of the resistance, just enjoy. Sit chair. Yeah, free yourself of the resistance. Dive over, bent knees forward, fold, let your head go. Come to the fingertips, set it up. Step, float, skip, crawl, however you wanna get there. Up dog pulls you through, hips up and back, down dog. On your breath, the right foot lands forward, the back foot turns, warrior one. Hands come back down on your breath. Everyone's gonna move a little different and that is okay. Upward facing, downward facing. Your left foot lands, your back foot turns. Warrior one, come on up. Excellent job. Hands back down through vinyasa. Upward facing dog, point your toes. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. In your downward facing dog, bring your feet together to touch. So you have one leg. Look forward a little bit, lean forward, lean up, lean up to your right hand. We're gonna go right to a Vashi stop the side plank. Yeah, on your right hand. Stack your feet on top of one another or stagger your feet. Also knowing you can modify with your bottom knee down on the ground. Lift from your bottom hip through your top hip, spread your collarbone and your chest, good. Melissa, turn the baby finger down. There you go, from your shoulder blade. Yeah, to work the ob obliques a little more, the top arm can wrap up and forward. Stay with it, guys. Top arm extends up towards the sky. Look down, plank position. When you get to plank, hover your right foot an inch from the ground. Your right foot. Right knee towards the back of your right arm. So it's just kind of drawing it in that direction without the hip coming out of alignment. Good, hug your right knee in to the center and step your right foot smack in between your hands. Turn your back foot on a strong angle and cartwheel open warrior two. Look at your stance. Your stance is your guide. If your stance is all over the place, you're gonna be all over the place. If your right foot is forward and it's your body. So make sure you're in check. Right foot, back, left arch, line up in the same line of energy. Farah's got a fancy mat. So she's using her center line, which is smart. I have a crappy old mat. I just have to kind of work it out, right? Either way, you're okay. Wrap your inner right thigh open. Breathe your collarbone open. Always check in that your right knee is not coming over your right toes. 
So it tracks directly over your ankle. That's your alignment. We only got one set of that. Close your eyes, be here. Wrap your inner right thigh open. So that's external rotation, which is what we want for healthy joint. It's just a feeling, my friends. It's just a feeling. Heavier and sit deeper. Wink your eyes open, flip your palm, reverse your warrior. This is a small movement. It's not a back bend, it's a side body opening. Your right thigh doesn't straighten, it continues to bend. Come back through warrior two, rest your right arm on the top of your right thigh to start. So your right arm's on the top of your right thigh. That's your left leg, your right arm, your, your right arm, your right arm. Left arm stretches up and forward, good. Hug your right hip underneath you, turn your bottom ribs. So Stephanie, use your elbow to press your inner thigh open like that, there you go. Good work guys. So if you wanna go deeper, your right hand can come down on the instep of your foot. I like using a block for B variation. Top arm keeps spreading up or you can wrap it behind you for a half bind. Or your hand can just come to your hip. You wanna keep bending into your front thigh though. Perfect, stay with that. Make a connection with the outside of your right arm and the inside of your right leg. Spin your collarbone open, look over your left shoulder and twist. Less is more, so if you go in too deep and you need to back out, that's okay. Listen to what your body needs. Keep breathing. Stay with it, guys. We get stronger in the moments that we hold. A few more breaths. Unravel the left arm, warrior two, take the bounce out, pull back up. Look forward, take it to the floor through a vinyasa. Upward facing will feel good, or baby cobra. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. In your down dog, bring your feet together so you have one leg. Look forward a little, scoot your left hand out about an inch, roll to the outer blade of your left foot, vashi stats into the side plank. You can stagger your feet too. You can drop your bottom knee, you pick. Lift from your bottom hip through your top hip. Top arm can wrap up and forward if you want a little bit more action. Yeah. Good work, guys. Nice. Yeah. Think of your bottom hip pressing through your top hip. You got it. Plank position. You love yoga. Float the left foot an inch. And so, yeah, your left foot an inch, because we have to do the left side. And then the left knee comes to the back of your left tricep. Guys, don't kind of crank your hip out of alignment. Just bring it up towards the back of that tricep to work the hip and the core, and then hug it straight in to the center line. And then with that motion, big step forward, turn your back foot on a strong angle, arrange your feet before you come up, arch to arch or heel to heel, and come on up, warrior two. There you go, warrior two. And you take a few moments to settle in into this warrior too. Biggest thing, stance is wide enough, it's long enough. Your left knee tracks over your left ankle. There's a wrapping open. You got it. And then maybe close your eyes and just be present here for a few breaths. Lengthen your tailbone, spread your collarbone. It's just a feeling, it goes away. You'll be able to drive after, turn the steering wheel. Maybe. When I first started practicing yoga, like I physically couldn't turn the steering wheel after class. I was like, this is insane. You get stronger if you commit to it. Sit a little deeper. Link your eyes open, flip your palm, reverse. Reverse the warrior. This is a soft, subtle movement. Keep bending deep into the standing left thigh. Come back to warrior two. Simply just rest your arm on the top of the thigh to start this ordeal. Stretch your right arm up. Just do, do this. Grip your left hip under you. Turn your bottom ribs, soften your shoulder. Establish the shape. Maybe the right arm can wrap up and forward. The baby finger will tip to the ground. Maybe you just wanna go right to that half bind. Maybe you're ready to slide your hand down to the instep of your foot using a block. This isn't for everyone. You can just stay with your arm on the top of the thigh. This is a good place to be.
You got it. Grip your left hip underneath you. Turn your collarbone and your chest and breathe yourself open here. Stay with it. If you took a half bind, if you took a half bind, unravel the arm. Listen carefully, let the top arm pull you up, warrior two. Take your hands to your hips, straighten your left leg on track, turn your left toes in. If you only have one block and you know you need block for triangle and half moon, just kind of take it and shove it to the back of the mat. Pivot your right toes out towards the back skinny edge of the mat, open up your arms nice and wide and set up for triangle. So your legs are now straight, your right toes are forward, pull up somewhere in the front of your right shin or a good thing to do is use a block to the outside of your right calf. Your right foot is completely forward towards the back skinny edge of your mat. Your right foot is completely straight towards the back skinny edge of your mat. Good. Straighten out your right foot, your right toes. You wanna to straighten them. Your right toes, the toes, the right toes. This is your toes, you wanna to straighten them out. Triangle pose, Tri yes, yes, that's it, perfect, good job. Good job, stay with it, couple more breaths. You're gonna look down and float to half moon, keep the bind, Farah, challenge yourself. Bend your knee, see what happens. Half moon, use a block. My favorite posture, grip your right hip in on under, the block is enough over to the right and out in front of you that your side ribs are long. Stack up your left hip, spark up your toes and turn open here. Look towards the ceiling or the sky. Yeah, left hand can also be on your hip if you feel like your balance kind of rocks you. Yeah, add in anything you want here to make the pose feel good. Half bind, no bind, thinking about a bind, just breathing, counting down the seconds to get out. Anything's cool. Lift from that inner thigh, stay with it. Release any binds, right? Giant step back triangle, pull up on the front of the shin, grab your block. It's kind of a learned art, triangle pose. You're pulling up on the front of your right shin, yeah. If you use the block for the other side, grab it as you pull yourself up and come up with straight arms and straight legs. The easiest way I know to bring it with you. Yeah, turn your right toes in, bring the block now into your left hand. And from your left hip, you pivot, it, pivot out. And now it's triangle on the left side, guys. So your left foot faces the front, mat, the front edge of the mat now. Good, stack yourself. The block's to the outside of your calf and your foot is forward, your toes forward. Yeah, side ribs nice and long. Nice job, grip your outer hips in and breathe. Look down, transition slow, half moon. Right hand can come to your hip. The block moves enough forward in front of you that you can balance. Stack yourself up. You got it, guys. Add in anything you feel. Keep turning those bottom ribs. It's great. Half bind, no bind. The standing left leg is forward and straight, though. The hip is gripping underneath you, and the side ribs are long. The imperfection of this posture makes it interesting. So if you fall out, you get wiggly, you got un in state unstable. It's okay. Release any binds that you have, do it slow. Take a giant step back into triangle. So do it slow, pull up on the front of that shin, triangle pose, you got it. It's one of those things, once you learn to transition that way, it's like, it's a great transition. Pull up on the front of the shin, yeah. Look to the floor, circle it down to the ground, move through a vinyasa, that was good work. Upward facing pulls you through, everyone's got a good sweat here. Downward facing, hips press you back. Here we go, guys, keep it going. Right foot lands, back foot turns, warrior one, come on up. 
Warrior one. Those that are just meeting me, did I tell you I was an endurance athlete? Yeah, you're in for the long haul here. I'm gonna make you run around the block after this. Drop your arms by your side body. Interlace your hands. Inhale your breath, eyes of the shoulders open. You're gonna come forward a humble warrior today. So my humble is looking a lot more like stomach resting on thigh these days, and I'm okay with that. But if you have the range of motion to get in there, the right shoulder snuggles, the entire left side of the body must continue to move forward. So you're not opening your hip. You got it. So find something you know you can hold. Great. So grip your right hip step underneath you and turn your left ribs forward. Yeah, now you're in it. Okay, guys, pull yourself up, come up halfway, pause. Just, you can keep your hands bound, but you can also separate your arms and bring your hands to your hips. Any of these options are great because you're gonna press off slowly, warrior three. I like arms back, hands to prayer, hands to hips. Any of these options are great, but the goal is to square your body off so nothing's opening. Your heart's lifting a little higher than everything else is a pretty big spark up of your left toes and you're finding grounding balance. Eyes meet the floor, hands drift to prayer. You're gonna reach for a block underneath your left shoulder. I like placing it high, right hand to the flat part of your back and you'll begin to peel open into revolved arda. For some reason you're nursing an injury or just don't feel like twisting that deep. Your hand can rest on one or two blocks and you can just stay in an amended warrior three. So that's this, perfect. You're on your right leg and your left leg is lifted in the sky. But if you're going into the twist, your right hand's on the flat part of your back and you're twisting open, looking sideways or looking up. Stacking the top arm open is the next step in your own time. Just stay with the leg lifted, that's it. Hug your outer right hip under, lift from your inner left thigh and breathe. Two more. It's a hard one, I know. It's like junky time. Eyes meet the floor, right hand comes down, step your feet together at the top of the mat. Sit into chair, chair pose. No resistance chair. <laughs> Hands to prayer. Yeah, you gotta laugh, come on, it's just yoga, right? Inhale the breath, hook the elbow and twist. You're gonna go to the right, same direction. Yeah, I don't know how your lower back feels, but if you feel like you wanna separate your feet a little and just kinda, you can air twist stuff. And I was telling one of my, my friends yesterday, you can also rest your elbow kind of on the center of the thigh and keep this really like not dramatic. This feels better to me rather than like hooking and getting in there and feeling like I'm going into my lower lumbar. You can just squat. You can stay like this too. And just work like a, a little toe stand if you feel like you're just sensitive. Because this is stretching the base of the feet and it's set up for side curl, which we're not doing right now, unless you're dying for it. If you're dying for side curl, go for it. I don't want to be the person to stop you from anything in this world. You do what you want to do. Pull around to chair wherever you are. Shoot up to stand up, drag your hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Separate your feet about hips width distance, guys. Cross your right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Might as well, I mean. Flex the foot, arm slide straight up towards the sky. So you're on your left leg. I just wanna make sure we're on the right side because we're gonna drift back. And that's kind of the whole thing. Here we go, sit into chair, ankle to knee. So you wanna flex your foot and you want the foot hanging off the edge of that left thigh so you can really get into that outer hip. So try it this way, lean all the way out, 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 and keep sticking your butt way back and continuously flex your foot. Then you're gonna get here and the back of your triceps press against the front of that right thigh and the hands can drift to a prayer. If you need a block, by all means use it to help you ground and stay supported. This is where you work into the arm balance stuff. So if you wanna go to flying pigeon, Farrah's up here and she's gonna do it, no pressure, but, I'm not so interested. So I'm happy just being here and really maintaining a nice, healthy stretch in the body. Everyone's here for something different and breathe. Mm. 
Nice work. Good for you. You don't know till you try. Uh huh. Flex the foot strong around the outside of that tricep. To get out of the pose, guys, we're going to do it together. Press up nice and slow. Don't let your right leg touch the ground. Hands to your hips. Hug the right knee in. Flex the foot. And then guide it back, warrior one. And if you're all over the place, you may need to reset. Warrior one. Bring the arms up. So pivot your right toes forward to the thigh. Like moves forward. Drop your arms. Good luck remembering which grip you took. Opposite arm. Opposite hand. Inhale the breath. Humble warrior. Remember this? Yeah, come forward. Either pick stomach resting on thigh or snuggle in there. Hug your outer hip in. Yeah, your left hip is the one that likes to go wild and crazy. Two more breaths. So stay in humble guys, just come up halfway, pause. So you're just hovering and the goal is to really steer your right ribs forward. Bring your hands to your hips, reach your arms back or hands to prayer. You're gonna press off warrior three. Everything squared off towards the ground. Flex the right foot strong. Lift the heart a little higher than the rest of the body. Nice. Eyes meet the floor, hands come to a prayer, guys. Slide a block underneath your right hand. I go the highest setting. Left hand comes to the flat part of your back. We're moving into revolved art and chandrasa. So the nice option is just to stay in this amended warrior three and just work on structure of the body. Outer left hip grips in as you lift from your inner right thigh. Yeah. Nice, Melissa. Breathe your heart and your chest towards the windows as you twist and lift from that inner thigh, lift a little higher, twist it open a little deeper. This gets you good. One more big juicy twist, you got it. Eyes meet the floor, both hands come down, slide your feet together, sit into chair. Heavy in your legs, chair pose. Hands drift to prayer, inhale the breath. You can hook, you can air twist, anything where you're going a little to the left. I'll show you another option that I did for a while. I came down into like this little kind of hovering and then I just open and I stayed like this. But lift your hips up off your heels. There you go, so you know you're working. Hands can also just be in a prayer position. You can just look sideways. Side curl if you took it. If not, just stay and breathe and really be mindful of your right knee that it's not sliding past your left. Pull around to chair pose wherever you are, heavy in your legs, chair, recommit. Shoot up to stand up, drag your hands to prayer, drop your arm, stand for a beat. Separate your feet, hips with distance. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Just make the figure four. It's really important that the foot hangs off the edge of that right thigh. Arms come up like chair and then start to steer your hips back as you sit. Sometimes this foot kind of slides. You need to kind of give it a little um. Yeah. Arms then reach all the way out in front of you and you start to hover and come down. Start with the elbows pressing against the back of the, the front of that shin. Hands come to prayer and really get into this low kind of hovering position so you can get into the hip. Blocks there for you if you need them. Flying if that's for you. Flex that foot strong. Get it around the outside of that tricep, perfect. Nice job, right here, hold, a few more breaths. So getting out of the pose is half the battle. Come up really slow, hands to your hips, let the left leg drift up in a 90 degree angle. Everyone's on their right leg right now. Giant step back, crescent lunge. You're high on the ball of your back foot. Good, slide your hands to prayer at heart, lean out, hook the elbow, twist. Same thing goes here with the twist. I just cut my elbow kind of go to the center, that meaty part of the thigh. And then you're turning and looking right. Also an easy twist is nice for some of us. You can just slide the left hand down. Yeah, you can also drop the knee. Yeah, perfect.
Lean back and twist open. You're high on the ball of your back foot. Eyes meet the floor, hands come down, pause. Anyone know how to hop jump, how to skip legs? Tara probably can do it. Anchor your arms, press into your hands and switch legs. There you go. If that didn't work for you yet, you can try it a couple of times. Just meet us on the left side and rise high lunge, crescent lunge. You notice I say Farrah, can you do it? Cause I'm not doing it. Yeah, crescent lunge, high lunge. But hey, we got all types. Crescent lunge, left side, drag your hands to prayer. Inhale the breath, other leg, left leg, forward. Twist and hook. Good. You got it. Open up your arms, easy twist. Any variation of this back leg, nice and strong. Lean back a little bit. You got it, nice work. Three more breaths. You thought it was over, it's not over. Okay, eyes meet the floor, hands come down, hop, switch one more time. Nice work. Plant the palms, your right leg is forward. I just want you to feed your right leg up and back three-legged down dog. We kind of started like this. It's nice to feed it all together. Look forward and land your right knee forward and through half pigeon. That was the whole point. <laughs> that was the whole point of the whole thing is to come forward, right leg, half pigeon and fold. Thank the Lord that we can be in this right now. Yes. Be happy for little things. Let your body, but more importantly, your mind and your breath just go. If something doesn't feel good in one of these poses, please let me know. When you start to get a little antsy in the pose, let yourself drop in a little deeper. Down dog, step back. Breathe your left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Come forward and swing your left leg forward and through half pigeon this side. And right side to left side um, can feel very different. So if you're, yes, it's the best. Melissa, have they done yin here? Do they do yin? Yeah. And you have to be in the right mental place to do a yin practice. Because the yin is long, slow, it's really long holds. Oh, she's great. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice to do a yin practice with um, a vinyasa flow, like 30 minutes of vinyasa flow, and then 30 minutes of like, when you do yin, it's like three poses. <laughs> because you, like, it's just, it, you, it could be very painful, but in a very good way. Go a little deeper, stay with it. So to get out, what we're gonna do is, is karate chop your mat with your arms like this, palms are gonna face each other, curl the right toes into the mat, activate your back right leg, Using your core muscles, slide your left leg back. You're in a forearm plank, 10 breaths. If you have an inversion practice and you're dying to go up, this would be the place to do it, right? Because you're, you know, segueing to the floor where the practice is almost over. 
If you just want to stay and work your core, that's great. You can also work into a dolphin, po a dolphin pose. You can also clasp your hands if you prefer, try that. If karate chopping the mat gets boring, you can clasp your hands, you can bring your hands to prayer. Nice work. Wherever you are, stay five more breaths. Yeah, dolphin, you can lift one leg, the other leg. Dolphin pose is essentially down dog on your forearms. The top of the head though doesn't touch the floor. Last three. Child's pose. When you go to child's pose this time, bring your legs together and grab the base of your feet. So it looks like this. Good, come up nice and slow and just swing your legs forward. Bring your block with you if you know you need it for bridge. We're gonna hit bridge and wheel pose laying down on our backs. So we'll, we'll do that together. So lay down on your backs. Mm -hmm. It's good to check in with the alignment this morning. So the fingertips skim the backs of the heels. That's a good indication that you uh, are set up. So bend your legs in half and then bring the back of your arms. I like to robot the arms first and then lift the tailbone up and clasp the hands behind your back for bridge pose. If you know you're going for more of a restorative type deal, a block underneath your low back, your sacrum actually is where it goes. The highest direction is gonna give you the most opening. Stay here or move into a full wheel. Flip your palms, bring your chin to your chest and lift yourself up. You can take a block underneath. Place the block. When you work with the block underneath your low back, I'll show you what to do. So you lift up, the block goes underneath here and then the hands will clasp. And this is the back bend, this is amazing. If the block is too high, just find a direction that works. If you're up in full wheel, lift a little higher, wrap the inner thighs in. If you're on a block, stay. Everyone else tuck the chin and lower down. One more, because we can. If you're on a block, stay, enjoy it. Flip your palms, chin to chest, giant breath in, lift yourself up. Final back bend. Maybe it's just block underneath low back this morning, sacrum area, and the legs lift towards the sky. So you have to read what your body needs. There you go, legs can lift up. Nice, Melissa, steer the feet forward, lift a little higher. Try not to move your neck wherever you are. Tuck your chin if you're up, start to come down. If your legs are straight up, bend your knees in half first, lower the feet to the floor, then remove the block. I've seen people pull the block out with the legs straight up, it's not good. And then remove the block out <laughs> and separate your feet the width of the mat and let your knees just knock in. So you're just on your backs right now, your feet are the width of the mat, your knees are knocking in, you're neutralizing your sacrum. And then reach for the outer blades of your feet for happy baby pose. Pull the knees down around the rib cage. Lengthen the lower back, the tailbone to the mat, spread the shoulder blades. Extend the left leg forward, hug the right knee in, just simple twist here, give it a solid squeeze and then take the right leg over towards the left for supine twist. Come up to center, relax the right leg out, hug the left knee and give it a super duper squeeze. And then take the left leg over towards the right. Supine twist, nice and easy. Yeah, you got it. Go up to center. Good, hug the knees in, give it a good squeeze. And slide yourself into Shavasana, complete rest. Complete rest right now. This is like not where you wanna cheat yourself, complete rest. Separate your feet, separate your arms, close your eyes. And just let yourself go. Thank you. 
If you need an extra long Shavasana, I will not be offended. Don't listen to me and just stay down. If you need to re-enter the world, bring your arms up over the top of the head, stretch from fingertips to toes, and then hug your knees in towards your chest. Give them a pretty dynamic squeeze. Rock up to a seated position and sit up nice and tall. And just for a second with your eyes closed, feel one last time, feel and experience how you just feel at the end of this practice. Hands to prayer, bow your head, always have gratitude. Lift your head, open your eyes. Namaste. Good job guys, way to rock it. My Zoomers, you crushed it. See you next time. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions.